Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another Disney cruise vlog. We are hopefully about to set sail very soon. We're still actually at port in Southampton. It's just after six o'clock right now. And uh, we're just gonna explore this ship because um, yeah, we've got some time now and then I think they're gonna sail away in about 15 minutes or so. So we're gonna go up to the top deck for that. And uh, yeah, then we'll have our dinner and we've got a champagne tasting later on this evening. So, oh, it's gonna be such a fun evening, but uh, so excited to actually get moving and to hit out on the open sea. <laughs> we don't even know where we're going. Oh, actually, um, they did say we were gonna head across the English Channel. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be really interesting to see because obviously I've never done a cruise like this. A staycation cruise where you don't stop off anywhere so you've not got a destination but also a cruise that's you know this side of the Atlantic so um, I'm so excited to see what it's like we're actually just um, down by the entrance to the adult only nighttime area it's like after hours so it's got Keys, O'Gill's Pub and Fathoms I think it's called um, so yeah we'll definitely be back here later for champagne and hopefully for some other fun I know they've got the um meet your match make your match the matchmaking thing that's like mr and mrs that's on tonight but it clashes with our champagne taste and so we might miss the start of it <laughs> um everybody that we've met is so friendly everybody waves like when you walk past it's just amazing it's another level when it comes to just service and everything so we've been really impressed so far so we've just come to the shops uh, they're not open just yet but they should be open very shortly um i'm already after spying some Dooney and Burke, look at this cruise line print, it's so cute. The suitcase is really nice as well. But yeah, I can't wait to get in and do a bit of shopping. It's been so long since I've been in a, oh, a Disney store that has like, you know, kind of like park vibes, sort of exclusive merch, that kind of thing. So excited to get inside. Uh, <laughs> this has really given me some parks vibes, like, the merch that they have on the cruises is always really good. They have lots of exclusive merch. So you can see there's some mini ears at the back there. That t-shirt is really cute as well. Some nice jumpers. They've got face masks actually just here. And yeah, they've got some uh, good spirit jerseys. I can see them over there. Look at this. Schwartzky. Oh, looks so nice. Okay, they have just opened Hello, the shop. Hi. Lovely to see you. you thank you. Okay, we're gonna do a little, a little walk around because actually we're gonna go up to the top deck for the sail away. Um, oh, look, they have all of the H2O stuff. Oh, man, this gives me such, such a good feeling just being in the store. I don't actually, I mean, I'm saying I'm not gonna buy much, right? But I always say that and then, you know, you get tempted by various things, don't you? So, they've got some really cool merch though. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, this shirt is really cute. I spotted a um, really cute spirit jersey. See this? Disney Magic's got Goofy on the back. And then it's got so this spirit jersey that I liked is seventy dollars or sixty nine ninety nine. Oh, it's so nice! I really love the sleeve detail. They've also then got these long sleeve tops. They look really comfy, actually. I think these might be men's, but they're really nice. Oh, and look. Disney Cruise Line jacket. I've actually got a jacket. I think it might be this one, it, or it's very similar to it anyway. Really nice long sleeve top there as well. Oh, they have so much stuff. They've got this kind of like new colour in. I haven't seen this before. I mean, maybe it's in some of the parks vlogs, but it's this really kind of turquoisey blue. I love the detail with the tie there. I think that's really cute on the cruise line stuff. It's kind of like a spirit jersey. Let's see what it says back. It probably says cruise line. Does it? Yeah, so it is like a um, spirit jersey, but it's just got the tied front on it, which is really cool. Okay, now I know I don't need any more mugs, but this is a really cute mug. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's a Disney cruise line and has like the rope detail on the handle. Oh, it's so pretty. One of my favorite mugs right now is one that I got on the Disney Dream. It's just plain blue and it has the cruise line symbol on it, but I think this is really nice. I really like the navy stuff that they have as well. They have all these like sparkly bags and little purses and stuff and they've got phone holders. Got some glass containers as well, like tumblers. So the mugs are $20, the tumblers are $27. There is some lovely jewellery as well. I really like these little anchor and Mickey necklaces. I think they're so cute. This is a lot nicer than I thought it would be. It's a lot more glamorous. Yeah, I love the chandelier. We are just about to head out onto deck now. We uh, did have a good little look around the shop. There's lots of cool things. They had some good little sales on actually. And um, you can apply your DVC discount as well. So 10% off. And yeah, there's the frozen something or other is happening right now as we are also due to sail away. So we'll see if we get to do both. <laughs> Now, nothing but waves in this filling in. I want to dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home. Though we lost our purpose, chasing all that surf. just heading into Cove Cafe. I think we're gonna grab like a little drink and just chill as we sail away. So uh, we might try and get a little snack so maybe feeling a little bit peckish. <laughs> dinner's not for another while yet. I think we've got around about like an hour and a half before dinner so definitely time for a snack. <laughs> So the ship is just doing like a bit of a U-turn <laughs> so we can face out towards the sea. Uh, you can see some of the other cruise ships over in the distance. But yeah, we're just turning around so we can start sailing over in that direction. So we just uh, got some snacks. We got olives, cheese, some breadsticks. Uh, we just got two glasses of water. We're both feeling a little bit dehydrated. I think we've been forgetting to drink our water today. And then I got a massive coffee and this is a salted caramel coconut latte so very excited to try that <laughs> you have got that all on your vlog <laughs> guys the horn just went off and scared oh. the <laughs> ice cream <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to 
going down. That's it. Support yet? We're going down, guys. Oh my goodness. That really made my heart jump. That was honestly, that scared the absolute. Oh my god, that just scared me so much. <laughs> I think we must be very close to the horn right now. Are we under it? It literally, I felt it vibrate in my chest. <laughs> it was so loud. just heading back inside it's really cold um we're just going past the isle of wight actually uh, just on the left here in the background i don't realize i'm not even pointing at the window let me show you guys better there we go that's the isle of wight uh, we're gonna head back into our state rooms and get ready for dinner so tonight we are in louis airs uh, which looks amazing we were checking out the restaurant menu <laughs> already because we like wanted to have a look at what we might order for dinner oh we can maybe just watch it no, it's just really two fights okay <laughs> Hannah has vetoed the stairs. <laughs> I'm just back in the stateroom. Uh, we're just sailing around the Isle of Wight. It's lovely and bright actually outside. Uh, it's actually quite cold though <laughs> from being outside. So I think I'm going to wear a dress and maybe like some leggings underneath. Um, my stateroom is quite cool, which is how I like it because I know I'll sleep well like that. But I think the rest of the ship felt a bit cool as well. So yeah, I think that's a good show. Um, and I'll bring a card again as well, just in case and uh i'm really looking forward to dinner i'm so excited like i said we were checking out the menu and the food looks so good maybe try some escargot uh they had some uh, fillet steak and some really good desserts as well so yeah looking forward to it <laughs> i still like i'm feeling pretty okay with uh all of the movement and everything although we're not actually really out at sea yet we're kind of like circling around the isle of man and um, so I, you know we're still sort of in the channel but i think they said that we're going to stay in the channel for the most part so hopefully it doesn't get choppy uh certainly has been really smooth so far and i took my dramamine i don't think i mentioned um i took dramamine around about when we got the covid test result back so probably about an hour before no maybe like 30 to 40 minutes before we board and then it's a good probably three or four hours before we sailed yeah about three hours before we sailed uh but i feel fine and then i just need to top that up uh, i think it's like every eight hours i have to take that and i went for the less drowsy version but i think uh, in general those kind of tablets will always make you a little bit drowsy uh, but i feel okay the coffee helped <laughs> I've done a little bit of unpacking. Uh, this is all my sort of dressy stuff. So for when we go to Paolo or to dinner, I've got this cute kind of jacket thing. Um, I've got a cardigan. This is just a top to wear with jeans and then three dresses. <laughs> I've obviously got a lot of options. Um, but yeah, I just didn't really know how to pack. So uh, there we go. And then I've got a couple of shoes down here. I've just hung up my two spirit jerseys on this side. So I've got this nice pink one. And then I've also got my Buzz Lightyear one here. Got my Minnie Mouse wash bag tucked away in the bathroom now. I'm just using this press over the TV then for my other bits and bobs. This is all my electronics. This is like makeup and some other bits and bobs in there. And then I've got this little thing with some jewellery in it. We're just heading into Lumiere's and look, the princesses are out. <gasps> so exciting. Look at all the princesses. Look at all the princesses. Oh my God, they're all coming out. just about to head into Lumiere's just here. They've got the princesses here and you can just queue to get kind of like a selfie with them I guess, uh, which is really cool. So well, we're just gonna go straight into dinner though. I'm so excited for that menu, it looks so good. Oh, we're so excited, thank you. Really? Oh, amazing, hot friend snails. So here we go. All the service staff are ready, waiting. We're just walking over to our table. Okay. Good yeah. Oh, brilliant, thank you. So when I sat down for dinner, they got this really cute rose uh, with our little serviettes, which is really cool. And then um, they 
we've just bought out some lovely warm bread and then we placed our orders but this whole restaurant is Lumiere themed so as you can imagine there's lots of beauty and the beast stuff around they've got this really cute picture back here um, some rose little things in the lights as well and uh, the servers have some really cool outfits and stuff too right so we've just ordered I went with the uh what did I get? Oh, the duck confit to start, and then we're sharing some escargot. I got the French onion soup, and then for main, the is it um what kind of steak was it? Chateaubriand. I can wash steak. <laughs> And uh, then he suggested the Grand Marnier souffle for dessert, so gone with that as well. Uh, but already, like, we're looking at the other desserts and thinking maybe we should, we both got the same dessert, so we're thinking maybe we should have got something else. But we'll see, we'll see. You never know, we might squeeze in a third dessert. <laughs> so we've just got the escargot, and um, I've got the duck confit here. Oh, I'm so excited, it looks lovely. I to try some snails. Yes, I love snails. <laughs> yeah, snails me too. They're, they're so good, guys. Especially Thank when they're cabin. well seasoned. I'm going to be so really good. stinking the cabin out. We are. <laughs> Garlic breath for the Yum. night. <laughs> so Hannah has, <laughs> Hannah has just got the... Um, it's the iced lobster and shrimp, I think. And then I've gone for the French onion soup. Uh, Starter number two, how are we feeling? Good. Gotta Good. pace ourselves. But, yeah. Yeah. They, they do them in like nice small plates, so it's really handy if you do want to try a few different things. And the waiters are always like recommending different things on the menu. So we always like anytime I come to these restaurants, I always recommend uh, when the waiter offers like to give you some recommendations definitely take it because they they obviously know the food better than anybody else they always come up with some really good recommendations <laughs> okay so our steak has just arrived we literally got the exact same thing <laughs> um but it looks so good i went for my medium and i went medium rare and uh yeah they come around actually for each meal and they offer you some fresh pepper which is nice i love pepper i'm like <laughs> I always like I think I over season everything I eat. I just love everything yeah, super seasoned. Oh. Yeah, just medium rare. Nice. Just a little bit pinker. Oh yeah, and the Bernay sauce on the side. I was like, don't forget the Bernay sauce. <laughs> Is it good? Oh amazing. Okay, so we've got a creme brulee and a souffle. They rhyme. <laughs> Yeah, so this was the Grand Marnier souffle and then this is I think just a vanilla from Brulee. They didn't say that it was a specific caramel. flavor. Oh they did say something about caramel. Okay. okay so you'll have to check out Hannah's vlog for the pour on the souffle and then on my vlog we're going to do the crack of the creme brulee. <laughs> <laughs> so I just pour it in the middle? Yeah. It's got a really good crack. Why is it not going in? Oh no! When I meant to make a hole first. I don't know. Were you meant to make a hole? He did give you instructions. I know. But we were, I just, not, we're not paying very much I just attention. nodded. Oh yeah, that's alcohol. Oh, there it's going in the hole. <laughs> I did the, the polite British thing. So we've just finished our dinner. Uh, it was absolutely delicious. So I think what we'll do is, because um, we just did a rating over on Hannah's channel, so uh, we're trying to mix it up a little bit. So I think what we'll do is, like, highlights, and then, like, if there's a low light as well. Okay, so for me, the highlight was, it has to be the steak. The steak was so good. The steak and the service. That's probably my two highlights. But overall, I mean, everything was great. Um, like start to finish really good meal but that was two for me are the highlights highlights i was the same the steak the steak was so good guys and it was a very generous like hunk of beef is that what you call it yeah, hunk of meat. meat hunk of meat whatever um <laughs> that was really good um and um, the service is awesome as well um i really like the souffle dessert i really like that there's no no like if i was gonna be bougie i'd probably say it'd be really nice if like the plates had like the beauty and the beast thing on but that's me just being really yeah i think like i guess compared to some of the other restaurants this one is not as themed so like they have got a few bits and pieces around but you know we'll see an animator's palette tomorrow it's like little roses up there right? yeah I guess it's a bit more of like, you know, um, muted aesthetic. Yeah. But still, it's nice. There's a, a whole mural. Mural? Mural. Yeah. You can't really see it too well, but it's over there. <laughs> for me, I think the low, I mean, the one thing that we were, I guess for us was a little bit of low is that the, the first bit of bread that came out wasn't warm. But then they brought out warm bread with the, yeah, that is proper, like that is, 
you know, like when you're being nitpicky because it's been such a good meal. Like, um, but they brought out bread, like a breadstick with the escargot, which was so nice. And I had to actually stop myself because I needed to save room for the steak. <laughs> um, but the service, again, like the service was just so good. And they're so nice about you trying more things. They came back over just to try and like get us to try a third dessert. And we were like, no, we can't. We're full and we have to go to our champagne tasting. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead to that now. And then, um, in case you don't know as well, the Disney Cruise Line, um, you have the same wait staff the whole time you're there. So the guys are telling us about how we need to get ready for tomorrow for animators' palette and think about what character we're gonna draw. Uh, but it's so nice how the same waiters stay with you, so they kind of get to know you and uh, what you like, like what drink what drinks orders you like, and, and things like that. So yeah, it's really cool. Anyway, we're gonna shoot off. So we need to get we need to get to our champagne tasting and drink some champagne. So bougie. Oh my god. Dislike, it, is, dislike. it is literally so <laughs> nitpicky, like it is it is so much nicer. That's the thing, right? If the if the worst thing about your meal is like a tiny little critique, that means like it's been a great meal. <laughs> so a bit of a closer look at the dining room as we're leaving and we're gonna actually just head over to the little mural thing over here and see if we can get a closer look. the after hours area which is that adult only area we were in earlier uh, we're not actually sure which place our champagne tasting is in it just says that it's down here so yeah we're just gonna see if we can find it it's after getting really dark now because then um, the sun's just gone down outside we're just going up our champagne tasting is actually up in Cove Cafe but look Tim and Dale are waving at us <laughs> How cute is that? Oh, that was so cute. That was really cute. <laughs> uh, so, to get to Cove Cafe, where this is, we have to actually go outside. <laughs> This is terrible. <laughs> uh, are you joking? It, it, it seemed like on the app it was down yeah. in the adult only area, like where the bars are, but it's not. So, <laughs> I mean, hopefully it's not raining or anything. <laughs> but uh, it looks pretty windy. <laughs> so they've actually got the football. You can't see it probably, but the football is on the big screen here, which is really cool. And then uh, there's like nobody outside though, because it's way too cold and windy. Uh, but look, it's really nice now that the you know sun has gone down. See, it's just getting nice and dark, but yeah, we're gonna go into Coke Cafe. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be anybody in there, but um, apparently, this is where the champagne tasting is, so let's give it a go. See how we get on. Okay, so we've just sat down there. We have found the right location. <laughs> we were literally the first people here, but now some more people have come, which is good. <laughs> I think everyone uh, just got a little bit confused by the app. The app was set us to the, um, the adult bars downstairs, but. We are now here, we've got four glasses of champagne. They've actually got the champagne up here that we are trying. Looks like a good selection. Oh, that's a bit dark. It's gonna be only in They said that you don't have server to talk us. How many is still drinking? Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> so, Cheers. Yeah, our first champagne that we are tasting is our tapping jug. So today we will taste our champagne according to the body. And what does it mean? So it means that when we have more Chardonnay in the composition of our champagnes, it will be more light, more fresh. Why? Because Chardonnay is responsible for all the acidity and the freshness, yes? So in case of our first champagne that we are tasting is our Tattinger, a little bit more heavy, yes? And most of the time, when we smell our glasses of champagne, it's during the first fermentation when we produce our still wine, we already leave some of the Pinot Noir or Pinot Monier in the red side. Or... Just come back to the room and I have this cute little tail animal. I think it's a bunny rabbit. It certainly looks like one from the ears. Pumba's ears does that little bend as well. That's my little dog at home. 
Um, but yeah, we've had turn down service, so you can see the bed is all made up. Oh, I'm so excited I have this whole bed to myself tonight. <laughs> it feels like it's such a luxury. So the champagne tasting was really good. The girl that did it was so knowledgeable. Her name was Joyce. She was amazing. Uh, but on the other hand, like, it's just been, I guess, a long day. <laughs> we're quite tired. So literally, like, as soon as it finished, we were like, bed? Yeah, bed, okay. <laughs> So we're just back in the room. I'm gonna just like take some makeup off, give myself a bit of a wash, get into some pajamas and get into bed and relax. And I'm just so excited to relax. I feel like I'm gonna be okay with the motion. Like I've been feeling um the motion. Like I have motion sickness, so I have been feeling it, but I've been taking my dramamine diligently. So I've taken two tablets so far, one about I think I said this earlier, didn't I? I'm repeating myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, I took one obviously before and then I just took one um, after dinner as well. It says like one to two a day, so I figure that's fine. And then I'll probably take another one first thing tomorrow maybe. Uh, and then maybe another one like around dinner time tomorrow. I think that should help me. And then that kind of means that that one has set in before I go to bed. Sorry guys, it's super dark, but I'm just heading out to the balcony. Let's uh, pop outside and see if we can actually see anything. Okay, I don't think you guys will see anything, but there are actually some waves breaking right at the side of the ship. And um, if you look up, you can see the lights of the ship as well. It's pretty cool. And there are some stars in the sky as well. Honestly, I don't think the camera is picking up any of this, but there are some, oh, there's actually quite a lot of stars in the sky. Oh my God, it's pretty clear. Um, I guess I'm out from all of the <laughs> London pollution. So I finally get to see stars again. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. Uh, it's a bit windy, but it's not too bad. Not sure how much of that you actually heard. <laughs> But uh, out on the balcony, it's really nice. It's super dark, uh, but you can see the waves because there are lights that kind of shine off the side of the boat. So if you don't mind going out and seeing the sea, um, I think it's quite good. The sea always looks quite rough, I think, at night. I think just because it's dark, I don't know, the sea just looks a bit scarier, but I quite like it. I find it quite calming just looking at the sea um, and looking at the waves. But also the sky is really clear. Like compared to London, it's so, so clear. You can see so many stars. Um, so I was just having a little look at the stars as well. And then you can kind of see the lights from the top deck as well on the slide and stuff so okay so it is just a quarter to midnight um, um it's literally only a few minutes after i just finished speaking to you guys but i've just rang down to room service and ordered myself a mickey bar it has been almost two years since i've had a mickey bar and i'm so excited for this it's like actually one of the really cool perks about disney cruise line is that you can order these things to your room and it's all included in your cruise price. Um, I was actually asking about tip because normally if you know people bring things to your room you can give cash tip however because of all of the new changes you actually do that through the app so your purchases uh, like the Cove Ca Cafe purchase and like this um, uh, purchase to the room this room service it all appears in your app and then you can add gratuity on that way and even though the Mickey uh, premium bar is free um well included <laughs> included um you actually uh will still see it as an order and then you can add tip if you want to add tip in there as well so um yeah that's just an fyi a lot of the things now have switched to moving through the app so uh, when we were in lumiere's earlier we were ordering we weren't ordering sorry we were viewing the menu through the app uh, when we were at cove bar we were viewing the menu through the app and again you could sign off on the payment through the app as well so very heavily app driven uh, which is really good um, obviously moving with the times and with everything that's been going on that makes so much more sense uh, and also it's really helpful I think if you're going on one of these cruises because the currency on board is dollars and you know it's quite unlikely that you're going to have a lot of cash dollars uh, so I'm actually just using you know my currency card I use a Revolut card and uh, that's what I have attached to my room so it's super handy that I can just put everything through my room even things that you would normally cash tip for. I know it's like super late and I think like Hannah's probably just gone straight to bed which is why I'm talking a little bit quieter <laughs> but me on the other hand I'm like what about Mickey bars <laughs> I'm such a child um but I kind of feel a little bit although I'm very tired I'm ready to get into bed I kind of just feel a bit excited about the whole experience <laughs> so I'm not quite ready to call it a night I think I'll sit up 
enjoy my Mickey bar. I might even pop back out to the balcony. I don't know. If I get into my pyjamas, that's a no-go because I've got shorts and t-shirt pyjamas and it's way too cold outside. Um, but it was really nice out there, like looking at the stars and stuff. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll just get into bed and stick on a bit of the Disney uh, TV because they've got some really cool stuff on the TV. So yeah, I'll check that out while I have some ice cream. <laughs> and then hopefully I'll get a good night's sleep I think I'm going to I have a good feeling about it I think the champagne might help with that too here it is I can't wait to talk in and honestly this isn't one of my favorite treats overall it's just that it is very nostalgic for me so I remember having one of these sat on main street as a nine-year-old waiting for my very first Disney Parks Parade and uh, ever since I've always made sure I have at least one of these on my Disney trip so yeah it's just more of a nostalgic thing for me but um, I mean it still tastes great so. <laughs> I had my Mickey bar, everything I imagined it to be <laughs> and uh, I've just done my skincare like taken off my makeup done all that jazz and uh, I'm gonna get myself into bed. I had to move the um bunny rabbit the tail animal off the bed and onto the sofa I didn't have the heart to take it apart so it's now sat on my sofa here he is I think we're going to call him Rory the rabbit so Rory's going to camp out here on the bed tonight and uh, hopefully we'll see him in the morning <laughs> So I'm finally in bed. I'm going to leave this vlog here. So I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, tomorrow we have Pello Brunch. We have Animator's Palette. And we have Mixology. As well as obviously just exploring more of the cruise ship. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all then. Bye.